Hello all you uh, Intro to CTE teachers. It is me, Mr. Roberts. We are going to talk a little bit about uh, personal letters today on this video to get you ready for our next unit so that everybody in all four classes is learning the same things, is learning the same techniques, and will be ready to uh, write some personal letters. Okay, so right here on the board, I've got a drawing representing a piece of paper. The little dotted lines represents our margins, and at the top you can see that it's personal letters. Now, personal letters, is, we, we use personal letters for a lot of different things. But the big thing is, who are you representing? You're representing yourself. So that's why it's a personal letter as opposed to, say, a business letter. Uh, personal letters that we're going to be really focusing on after we do a few uh, d additional assignments is a cover letter. And what a cover letter does is it, a, it goes with your resume. Uh, as you go to apply for a job. And so it's a letter uh, pretty much bragging about yourself, talking about things that are in your resume uh, to the business to try to get that interview where you can and go in and get that job. So personal letters. Uh, right here, we're gonna focus on the format of a personal letter. And you're gonna take this format, do a few assignments through our Google Classroom, turn them in, and then you'll be creating your own personal letter, which is your cover letter for your resume. Okay, so starting out, I'm going to go pretty quick because I know video lessons are, are kind of dull at times. So you can pause and, and take notes if you would like to, um, but we're going to go pretty quick. So personal letters, before we really get into actually writing the personal letter, we're going to set it up uh, in a way that allow us um, to just have to worry about typing. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to set up our left and right margins to 1.5 inches. Top and bottom, we'll just leave it one inch, but left and right margins, 1.5 inches. Uh, we'll talk a little bit once uh, later on in this video in a screencast. I'll show you how to do that in Google Docs, how to set up your margins. Um, next thing uh, we want to do is we want to change our text to Times New Roman and size 12. So over here I'm going to write Times New Roman size 12. All right, and our line spacing is always going to be 1.0. Now we're going to do some different types of spacing, but pretty much when we hit enter we want it to go just one line below, not give any gaps. So I'm going to go line spacing 1.0. Okay, so starting out with the personal letter. Uh, first thing, first and foremost, is you're going to write your address, your street address. Now, now your address is your street number, or the, uh, the, the, the house number, the street name. Um, the second line is your city, state, and zip. So on the second line down, we're going to go city, state, and zip. And then below that, we're going to put our date. Okay. Uh, next, after we hit our date, we're going to we're going to do what we call a quadruple space. So we're going to hit enter four times. So that's one, two, three, and four. Uh, so we'll hit enter four times, and we'll start typing on the on the fourth time we hit enter. Um, so really, we'll start typing right here. Uh, and this is where we're going to put the address ease name. Now, an address e is just that who you're addressing the, the letter to. So if you're doing it to a company, like say you're going to try to get a job, just for instance, you're going and trying to apply at Roths. And so you want to want to write a letter to Roth saying how awesome you are or how how qualified you are for a, for a position. Uh, so you wouldn't necessarily have to put somebody down specific unless you know specifically like the human resources manager. Um, but you could also put Roth's human resource department. Or you can do something specific to that. Um, okay. After the, after the addressee's name, we're going to put um, their street address. City state and zip for theirs. Um, so, so if we come back, we have our address right here. So that's, that's your address. Uh, and then you have the, 
whoever you're writing it to their address here. Now the reason we have our address in there is just basically it's called the, the inside address in the sense of we, uh, we have that so in case the envelope gets lost, something like that, they still have the letter, um, they still have our, our return address in case they need to send something back to us, uh, whoever we send it to. Okay, next thing we're gonna, so back here, I'm just gonna do a little box and with a QS for quadruple space. Right here we're gonna go double space, so if we're doing quadruple space is four, double space, we just hit enter twice. Okay, and at this point we're gonna put dear, I'm gonna put dot, dot, dot. So it'd just be dear the addressee, who, who the letter's to. Pretty simple. Um, then we're gonna go double space again and this is where we're going to kind of write the, the length of our letter, okay? And so we're not going to indent, we're just going to start typing. Uh, we don't hit enter at the end of a line unless we're ending a paragraph, but say this is my first paragraph and I get done here, I'm going to hit enter. We're going to hit enter uh, twice, so we're going to give it a double space again, and then we're going to start typing. Uh, some more. We'll just assume we typed two paragraphs in this personal letter. Now obviously it can be as long or as short as it really needs to be. A typical cover letter you want three to four paragraphs um, and we'll talk a little bit more about what goes into those uh, here, in the, here in the near future in this video. Um, anyways, let's assume we're done here. Uh, we're gonna hit another double space and this is where you're gonna see like sincerely, um, yours truly, if it's a, if it's a, a, a more closely relationship, you could put uh, cordially yours. In fact, that's what I'm gonna put, is I'm gonna put cordially yours. And then a quadruple space. So hit enter four times. And then here's gonna be your name as the last line. Now, the last thing we gotta do, once we get it printed out, uh, and it's gonna be a little bit different from you, for you guys, but when you guys do your, your cover letter, we'll have you guys print it out and turn it in a hard copy. Um, you're gonna come back here, and you're gonna sign your name. So between cordially yours and your name, we're gonna sign your name, and anytime you sign official documents, in whether you're filling out an application, whether you're you know, signing a check, whether you're signing a, a letter, uh, anything like that, you need to use ink, blue or black pen um, to do that. Not pencil, not red pen, not marker, okay? Ink, pen, blue or black. Uh, you should have a signature. If you don't, you know, we're gonna work on your cursive a little bit to get, to get that signature going, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it. Now, the last thing what we need to do in Microsoft Word, there's a way that you can center everything vertically. In Google Docs, you can't. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top, and you're just going to hit Enter. You're going to take the top right here, and you're going to hit Enter until you're kind of looking at it. It passes the eyeball test, and everything looks centered in the page. Now, that's, that's something that we're not necessarily going to grade hard on just because, it, you know, you might think it looks centered. I might not think it looks centered. We're going to assume that if, you're, if you move it at all, so hit enter like four or five times, bring this down a little bit, get it to the center of the page. Um, that's the last step that we're going to do. Since Google Docs doesn't have the center vertically function, uh, we do want this about center in the page just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit fuller. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a personal letter. Um, we'll come back and hit a little bit more details on the screencast that's coming up right after I get done talking. All right, moving over to our Google Classroom, our screencast of our Google Classroom, week 14, personal letters. We just saw what correct format of a personal letter is. Now we're gonna go and, and apply that, uh, that we've learned, that we've maybe taken notes. If you've taken notes, you can go back to the beginning of this video and look at them again. You don't necessarily have to listen to me teach it, but you can look on the board and see in where exactly the spaces are, how many spaces in between, all that good stuff, types of margins, everything. Once you get over here, once you get done with this video, you're going to come back to our week 14 of our Google Classroom. Now, if you look right here, nothing's been assigned yet. It's a little dull. It'll be assigned. Uh, all Google Classrooms will have these assignments. Our first assignment, personal letter tutorials. So this tutorial 
is just simply a Google form where you're going to fill out your information. You're going to come down here and you're going to answer the questions that we should have answered through the first video, first part of the video. And that's simply as like, for instance, on a personal letter always has two quadruple spaces where you place the second quadruple space. Okay, and then choose the answer. So it's something that we want to make sure we're all on the same page on. Uh, that's just simply a little quiz after watching the first part of this video and into this video. So back here, we're going to do tutorial first, first before you move on to any assignment. Now, once we get on the assignments, uh, personal letter assignment one, we're just going to look at a personal letter assignment one. Each one of these has a PDF sample of a personal letter. This one is in correct format. If you look at this, all our spacing is correct. We're centered vertically. Um, you can see that there's equal amounts of spaces at the bottom and the top. That's our center vertically. Now in Google Docs, like we talked about, we're gonna have to do that a little bit differently, but that's okay. So once we get this all uh, ready to roll, we're gonna take this and we're gonna, now a, a, a PDF you cannot edit. So that we kind of run into a problem where we can't just edit this. But we're gonna take and we are gonna copy. So we'll copy all of this. Make sure you get everything. We're going to come over to a blank Google Doc that you can pull up through your Google. Uh, we're going to paste it. Now, if you look, that doesn't look like what we just copied. Right back over here, that doesn't look anything like it. So this is in it. It copies it in incorrect format. Now we've got to do some work to get this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our margins. So to do margins in Google Docs, it's a little bit different than Microsoft Word. So if you know how to do it in Word, it's a little bit different here. We're going to hit, click File, and we're going to hit Page Setup. And over on this right-hand side of this box is our margin. So one inch for the top, one inch for the bottom. We're going to go 1.5 for left, and we're going to go 1.5 for the right. Hit OK. Now it even looks a little bit more messed up. Okay, now it's it's going to be kind of difficult, a little bit difficult to see which paragraph started. But let's just start at the top. Okay, right here it has September, you know, has a, has the inside address. This is where this is our address. Okay, so we're assuming we're from two two seven four Cogswell Road in El Monte, California. Uh, the date is September fifteenth, two thousand whatever. You can come and change that to two thousand nineteen if you happen to be doing this after the winter break and it's two thousand twenty. Uh, go ahead and throw 2020 in there. It's not a big deal. Now, this is where, you know, right here we have a little bit of a space. It's not our quadruple space like we need. So we're going to have to change this to a quadruple space. Right here we have a double space. And it means we've hit enter twice. We hit enter once here and then hit enter once more where we started typing Miss Alice M. Wiggins. So we have two. So I'm just going to hit enter twice, two more times. Now, the simple rule is if I count spaces in between, so right here is a quadruple space. If you look, I only have three spaces in between. There are three lines in between. Now, it, you might say, say, no, that's a triple space. In fact, it is a quadruple space. So it's one less space in between than the quadruple space because the fourth time we hit enter, we start typing this, and that's why it doesn't look like there should be four. But we have hit enter four times in between here. So same same logic between when we go for a double space, you're gonna have one. So right now, if I hit enter one time, there's one space between there, that would be a double space because the second enter I would have hit would have been to Dear Mr. Wig, and that's where I would have typed. So let's go ahead and hit enter here. This is the end of the first paragraph. If you ever need to ch check back and see which paragraphs are which, which right here, 7 p.m. was the end of that paragraph. So our speaker is the next paragraph, our speaker so I'm going to come right here and I'm going to put these back together. Now, be careful when I hit backspace to bring these lines up. Now I'm taking the space away. I just have to throw that space back in there. Um, so if I come back here, this one ends on wit, which is okay. That one's ending on wit. I'm going to space this one out. Okay, and then I should be pretty close to being done. Uh, this one one more time, I'm going to hit enter twice more. That's that three spaces in between a quadruple space. If I come up here, one space in between a double space. And enclosure, all enclosure represents is if I'm sending in and not handing it to them, if I'm sending in a resume with my cover letter, for instance, or if I'm sending some sort of thing with my letter, that enclosure just represents, hey, I'm sending something to you. So you could say, uh, please look for the uh, resume enclosed or or whatever enclosure just represents that 
So I'm almost done. If you look, um, we're not centered vertically, uh, not even by the eye test. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to hit enter about three times. I can kind of judge uh, maybe one more time, just kind of judge, do the eyeball test. It looks pretty centered. Okay. Now, ideally, we would print this out and sign your name. We're not going to do that right now, but this is what we're uh, going to do. So once that is done, we feel pretty good about it. I can come back here and check. Uh, does it look pretty close? Does it look good? Yes, it looks good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this name. And if I click on this to change the name, it's, all, it's just going to put up the first line. I don't want the first line. We're going to do so personal letters or personal letter. Personal letter. Uh, and I'm going to put A1 for assignment one. So personal letter A1 for assignment one. That'll save into your Google Drive. When we get done with that assignment, I'm coming back all the way back here. And once this is assigned, you will see something that says view assignment. When you click on view assignment up in the top right hand corner, and I can't show you because I can't, it's not assigned and I can't show you view assignment yet. But up in the right hand corner, you'll see somewhere where it says to attach, uh, oh, attach assignment or attach work. And that's where you're going to hit attach work and you're going to pull up your personal letter a one personal letter assignment one and then submit it there so before you move on to the second one make sure you submit your assignment for a personal letter assignment one uh, once you get done with all six that's all we got for personal letter eventually what we'll do is we will have uh, an assignment uh, where you will take and make your own personal letter uh, based off of your job that you want um, or class that you want, number one choice that you want for second semester, and you'll create a cover letter that goes along with your resume. And that's our goal is to help have you at the end of this personal letter uh, unit to be able to write a cover letter. You've already written a resume uh, that that way you can further your education and career goals uh, in the future. And that's personal letters for you.